Welcome to Ekba Central in Lagos East. Residents of this mostly efficient community were part of the millions of Nigerians who took part in the elections on Saturday. The voting went free and fair. We don't have any problem in the most of in the press center here. Even this booth is Bussis. So we don't have any problem in the press center. The election was so free and fair here. No any violence or any toggery within here. Although a smooth process, the community woke up to some disturbing news. I'm here at the riverbank, maybe not precisely where those individuals who took off to one of the communities in the River Rhine area to go and do accreditation and vote yesterday, but this is one of the coastlines of this community here in Ekpa Central. We're made to understand that uh, about nine people were on board um, that particular boat that sank. Only three survived from that incident. Six people died. From the pier, I made my way to the palace of the Olu Ekpe of Ekpe Kingdom, but was not allowed to speak with him. I was able to speak to a senior member of the family. I think there are about six people, including the owner of the boat and two of his children. They were coming back from, we call that place Enyosa, that is Ekpe Waterside, across the river. So along the line, there was a little bit of a storm, as according to what we heard. And the boat capsized. The owner of the boat survived with one of his children. Um, one of his, the other child died. Then the Aremo, Kunle Adewale, also died. In fact, it was the first corpse they brought down. Then they said the wife of the Moise Belo, the, is the chairmanship aspirant for the Kuala local government. The wife survived, but the husband died. Then two of uh, Kunle Adewale's friends too died, They're including the PA of the of uh, Moise Belo. Efforts to recover the other bodies are ongoing, but were prevented from filming. Less than 12 hours ago, where I'm standing at this moment was really busy. Had a lot of voters from this area coming out to cast their vote for the presidential and of course the National Assembly elections. Now the voting and the collation of results is over, residents in this area are waiting rather anxiously but patiently as well for the electoral umpire to announce the results for the presidential and the National Assembly elections. From Equa Central here in Lagos, I'm Harriet Agbenyi reporting for Channels Television News.